I have another video, man. So make sure y'all like, comment, subscribe. Leave any comments down below so y'all can ask me any questions. Because I'm going to get back to you on the questions. But I feel like I haven't done like a sit down, like question, not question air, but like just really just talking to y'all to give y'all tips and what to do. Which y'all wish, like when I don't post videos, and when I don't tell y'all specifically what to do, sometimes y'all may go to other places and they don't give y'all good tips or good results. And that's not that's not how I want my subscribers to be treated. So that's why I was like, yo, let me just make a video so I could tell y'all what to do. Um, basically this video, I'm really gonna tell you guys how to stay wavy after your cuts, like how to maintain waves um, before your cuts and after the cuts. Like sometimes you lose progress after you get a cut. So I'm really gonna go in detail and show y'all, like tell y'all really what I do every cut just to make sure my waves are maintained and I never lose progress. One of the first things I stress a lot, is like finding the right barber for you. Um, in the beginning, when I first started, I wasn't able to find a barber that could cut waves. And that's a big, big thing. Because if you're working with one barber, they're gonna cut the same way. Like if you notice, if you get a haircut, is it really doesn't vary that much. Like if you just sit in the chair and uh, tell them to do the same thing, it really does not negate or does not change at all like so that can be a good thing that could be a bad thing depending if it's a bad cut or a good cut so just work with one barber um tell them like what you want and uh, i guess what you expect and then if you build that rapport or you build that relationship with your barber you don't have to keep telling him different guard sizes and everything he's just gonna know like you're gonna be able to sit down and he's gonna like figure out like okay this guy has waves i know he doesn't want his waves cut off you know, I'm not gonna go against the grain. It's like little things like, I feel like barbers who are experienced with waves or just find that right barber, they're just gonna look out for you. They're gonna be like, all right, bet. So I know he's telling me this one thing, but I feel like this is gonna be better. So having that communication and being like, even asking him like, all right, so what do you think will be good for my hair? You know what I'm saying? Like, um, and everything like that. Cause I feel like I had a conversation with my barber about that recently. I was, I was asking him, I was like, yo, should I do a high taper, like a high fade? And he was like, no, because my peaks are like smaller. So it's just that little tidbit of information really helped me because like he cut so many people's hair. So he's seen different hair textures. He knows what probably will look better for your face. So just like talking to him and trusting your barber is like really, really important. I feel like that's one of the main things. Just find somebody you can trust and you can go to consistently to give you that cut that you need. Like you can just be worry free. You can be like consistent with it. You can be like, all right, but I know it's gonna be good done, right? May not be the price that I like, but it's gonna be done how I need it to be done. And I don't have to worry about it being a bad cut. If I have like a picture day or something, I have to take pictures or I have to be like on social media or something like that. You know, like, all right, that's one less thing I gotta worry about. So that's one of the top things, man. I feel like it's not really explained well. It's like having that relationship with your barber, having that one barber that you like, you know, that you mess with or that you like, that you personally like, you know? Because this this is your hair, this is like your appearance. So, you know, you want to make sure you at least like what you're paying for. So that's one thing. But finding it is kind of hard. I will tell you that. It's like, I probably gonna put some apps on stuff that I use that you can probably use in your area to find somebody who's really good. Because sometimes people ask me and I'm like, I want to make sure I'm telling y'all the right people. So, yeah, I would say that. That's one of the main things. Uh, two, one of the main components after that that's something that you got to do and it's not really relying on the other person is making sure that you're doing your brush sessions appropriately like a cut is really like graduation like you want to look at it like that a cut is graduation time so it's like if you really have been preparing during the school year you're not going to be ready for graduation you know what i mean you're not going to really graduate so basically what i'm saying is like your cut is your your time to shine or it's gonna show what you haven't been doing. So just kind of realize that, like, yo, am I, when you get a cut, ask yourself, am I ready for graduation? Like, am I ready to graduate today? And so if you ain't putting it in a work, like you ain't brushing, doing all the techniques, the answer is no, you're not ready for graduation, which translates to no, I don't need a cut right now. I need to put in some more work. So yeah, just be ready for your cut. You know what I mean? Put the work in, put the time in put the dedication in, put the sessions in, because that's gonna show at a cut. Like, if you have, sometimes it's really not the barber, it's really, if your waves are gone, sometimes you ain't just putting enough work in, like you ain't brushing enough. You know what I mean? You can't brush like really a week for your for a cut because your hair don't grow that fast. Maybe I can do that because my hair grows really, really fast and I know how to like, like bounce back, recuperate really quickly. So 
that may not be a problem for me, but it may be for you if you're new. So, you know what I'm saying? Make sure you put the brush work in. Serena Paul, that, uh, make sure you're doing a good job on that because that's important. That's really important because cut is graduation day. Um, three is really laying down your waves. Uh, I know a lot of people say brush work, but really laying down your waves is important. Like using the right products. You know, I say shape moisture. Using that, that's like important. That's top tier. Like you need to make sure you have that. If you do not have that, your hair is going to be dry. It's not going to be waved up. And you're gonna lose progress. So all that brushing you probably did last minute is gonna be non-existent because your waves aren't gonna show. So it's like you're gonna be disappointed because you're gonna be expecting waves or you're gonna expect some progress and it's gonna be nothing there. You're gonna be like, dang, I had my hair, I grew my hair right, I was wolfing, and I put all this work in, but you know, I don't see the work that I put in. I don't see I'm not reaping the benefits of what I put in. So Make sure you are laying your hair down. Your hair has to be like laying down. You know what I'm saying? It has to be laying down because if not, everything you brush for is for no reason. Like I remember in my other videos, I was saying like the pomade is to say the progress and the do-rag is like to set in the progress, which lays down your waves. So if you got, it's a combination of everything. You just can't do one thing. You can't just brush. Like, I hate when people tell, I hate when other subscribers, or people who do wave challenges be like, just brush. Like, that's stupid. Like, I feel like that's so stupid because it's like, that's like saying like, um, how do you go from point A to point B in the car? You be like, get gas. You gotta drive, you feel me? Like, that's how I feel, that's how I think. It's like, that's not all the steps to it. So don't just tell somebody, just brush. Like, they gotta figure out how to brush, they gotta figure out what products and all that. So it's like, don't do that. You feel me? If somebody's going from point A to point B, be like, um, you know, you get in the car, you make sure you have gas in the car, you get there, you drive, you drive safe. You know, you might want to wear a seatbelt. So it's like, it's different parts into it. So don't look at it. Cause I, it's like, I have to reteach a lot of this stuff to people. It's like, don't look at somebody who's just telling you on TikTok really quick. Cause it's six seconds. Like, oh, just brush. And that's it, and wash your hair. Like, it's so much that goes into it, and it's so many different ways you can do it. You feel me? Like, there's so many ways you can tackle it. So, don't look at it as like, oh, this is easy. I saw a TikTok. I'm just gonna wash my hair with my do rag on, and I'm gonna have waves. I'm gonna keep doing that every time I wash my hair. Like, it's that's not how it goes. But I get it. You know what I'm saying? Waves are popular, so people are gonna try to come up off of it and eat off of it and try to get their subscribers and numbers up. But it's like, bro, it's like, and then they come to me and it's like, I had to reteach them, like, no, don't do that. Like, like I'm sorry somebody told you that, but that's not really how it worked. That's not how it go. So that's another thing. Um, one of the other things, too, is uh, being confident with your hair, like, being confident with the progress that you made. Like, because I feel like if you're not confident with your wave progress, you're gonna think it's time for a cut and it may not be time for a cut because you're anxious or you may wait too long because you're not confident in the progress you put in and you keep you keep growing it, it's gonna over curl. So you gotta know when to get a cut and you gotta have the confidence of it. So it's like the progress you put in, you gotta know like, all right, I watch all these videos, you know what I'm saying? I know all this information, I know I did everything right. It's time to get a cut now. But you know, you gotta research that. You're not really gonna know like right off if you're new to this. You know what I mean? You can't really know it by looking. You gotta have experience with it. So generally people who have wave channels, they know, all right, I gotta, I gotta get a cut now. Like it's no waiting. I can't wait a week. I can't wait two weeks. I can't wait a month. I gotta get my money up and get a cut now. Like if I don't, it's gonna further set me back. So just know that, like you gotta be experienced in that. And I feel like a lot of people on TikTok are not, or just like a lot of these waivers that tell you to do stuff and it's not really like, it's just wave content. You feel me? Like, it's like stupid. Like, it's so crazy. Cause it's just like, I see it, other waivers see it, they're like, yo, this is just content. Like, they just want to try to push content, 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 but it's not like substantial information. Like, it's no information that can really help you. It's just, it's information for you to watch. So I don't really like that. And that, that really makes me mad, but, um, other than that, I feel like that's the main tips. Like, I want to make sure I'm, I'm doing more talking videos and telling y'all because I've been seeing some wrong information, bro. Like, I've been seeing some wrong information, some wrong information. I'm like, bro, it'd be so wrong. Or if it's not wrong, it's not explained properly. So it's like, you'll look at it 
And if it has the right amount of numbers, you would do it, but you would be upset because you don't see progress or it's not for your type hair. So I feel like I'm gonna do more of these because I just think that I can go on and on about things that are not done right. But I don't really mind telling somebody the right way to do it. So you know what I mean? That's really not an issue to me. That's some that's some top tier things. Like those are my those are my tips right there that I consistently always done. Um, you know, I mean, so like honestly, being human, some weeks you may slip up. Some, you know, I might want to wear a hat, so I may not, um, you know, uh, like I might not um, brush a certain week or something like that. But that's okay, as long as I know how to bounce back and I had information, I'm good. But other than that, that's pretty much it. I just wanted to tell y'all like some tips that I do, um, things that you can do so you can progress and you can get your ways where you want them to be if you want to get waves. And um, yeah, that's pretty much it for that. Just really want to talk to y'all about that. Sit down. When I subscribe, you feel me? Sit down and talk to them. Because I feel like, you know what I mean? I don't really talk to y'all. So that's what I had to do real quick. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe. Ask me any questions down. Add me on Snapchat. My Snapchat is going to be there. Y'all already know. And I'll see y'all in my next video. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? My way is going. I got my barber stuff. So yeah.